This is Salisbury Fire Department's Training Minutes. David Haynes, Training Captain for the Salisbury Fire Department. We're continuing on with our hydraulic series of Training Minute videos and we're working on calculating our pump discharge pressure for a relay engine using friction loss and the hand method using the Q-squared method. So in the previous training minute we worked with three inch hose and we worked with a couple different flows to get our pump discharge pressure. We're going to move up in hose size and talk about four inch hose. So starting with the baseline using the hand method it's always Q-squared which essentially we take the flow, we want to deal with the flow size and the length. We start with the flow, we divide that number, gallon per minute, by 100 and then we square that number, which would give us a 3-inch hose friction loss number. When we're going to go from 3-inch hose to any other hose size, we have to do a conversion factor with that number to get the friction loss for that hose size. And then with the length, that's accounting for the flow and the size, the length, we would take the length into 100 feet, divide that by 100, and multiply the final friction loss number per 100 feet times the length, to get our friction loss. As you can see, we've got our formula set up here. We're calculating the pump discharge pressure in a relay setting. So instead of a nozzle pressure, we're going to use a residual pressure of 50 pounds. That's the pressure I'm giving from my engine in engine one to the driver operator of engine two. He has a residual pressure of 50 pounds at his pump panel on top of what he's flowing. So pump to pump, residual pressure of 50 pounds in a relay or supply setting. Q squared for 3 inch hose. When we go from 3 inch hose to 4 inch hose, the conversion factor is to divide by 5. And that will give me 4 inch hose. So we'll do an example here of 4 inch hose from engine 1 to engine 2. Uh, we'll come up with a gallon per minute number of 600. 600 gallons a minute. And we'll say that it's uh, 500 feet of 4 inch hose. Uh, well, that will say 700 feet of 4 inch hose. So the first thing that we have to do, we can count for our flow. We have 600 gallons a minute. So I'm going to put that right here. 600. And again, the first step is to divide that by 100, which is essentially we knock off those zeros. So that gives me a 6. And then we start with the 3 inch hose number, which is always our baseline. So 600 gallons a minute, 6, and we use our hand method here on our calculator, 600, 700, 800, 900, or 1,000. And the memory jogger, again, is the multiplication sign here. So 600, 6 times 6, Q squared, will give me 36 pounds of friction loss for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose. And then we're going to go from 3 inch hose to 4 inch hose by dividing that number by 5. And that's going to give us approximately 7 pounds of friction loss for every 100 feet of 4 inch hose flowing 600 gallons a minute. So 600 gallons a minute, 6 times 6 is 36. Divide that by 5 to get from 3 inch number to the 4 inch number. That gives me approximately 7 pounds of friction loss. The length, we have 700 feet. We're going to take that 700, divide that by 100 to get 7, and then right here we're going to take the friction loss we come up with and the length, multiply those, and we'll end up with 49. So 49 pounds of friction loss from engine 1 to engine 2 flowing 600 gallons a minute through 700 feet of 4 inch hose. Friction loss of 49 goes here in our formula. We have a residual pressure at the end at his pump panel, engine 2, of 50 pounds. We're going to add those two together and get 99 pounds discharge pressure on engine 1's pump. No devices, no head pressure, just for simplicity. Uh, we'll do this again with a, an in-between number. Math works the same with the, the whole number, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000 gallons a minute. We'll do once again with a different length. 
in a different flow. And because we're still working with a relay, we're going to leave that residual pressure and our friction loss will be what changes. So in this case, we'll go with 800 gallons a minute, just as a big number. Excuse me. We'll make that a in-between number, I'm sorry. We'll do 650 gallons a minute. And then we'll say it's uh, 800 feet of four inch hose. So the very first thing we do, we come up here to our flow. And because we're dealing with an in-between number, not a whole number, 600 or 700, we find where that falls between two fingers and cross multiplies. So not simply dividing by 100, but cross multiplying. So 650 gallons a minute, we're going to cross multiply. 600, 700, 650 falls between the two. 6 times 7 is 42. <coughs> and then to go from 3 inch hose, that's our 3 inch hose number, <coughs> to 4 inch hose, we're going to divide 42 by 5. That's going to be approximately 8 pounds. Our friction loss per 100 feet. We're going to come down here and deal with our length. So 800 feet of 4 inch hose, we'll take the 800, divide by 100, which is essentially knocking the zeros off. Gives us eight, and then we multiply the length times that friction loss. Eight times eight should give us sixty-four. No devices, no head pressure, so we add sixty-four and fifteen, and we should have one hundred and fourteen pounds of friction, uh, uh, pump discharge pressure, which is the residual pressure of fifty and the friction loss of sixty-four from engine one. The engine two and a relay pump the pump. Again, that's the quick down and dirty training minute using the hand method with conversion factor for four inch hose to get the friction loss and the calculating the pump discharge pressure for a relay from engine one to engine two. Thank you.